Close your eyes and watch your breath. Try to stay right here all the way through the in-breath, all the way through the out. If you're going to think about something else, but make sure that you want to think about it. It really is worth thinking about. But otherwise, return to the breath, no matter what other things you may find coming through the mind. Remember, you want to develop some good qualities right here. We've come to the end of the year. We're getting ready to launch on the new year. It's a good time to reflect on the good things we've done in the past and the things that were not so good that you'd like to change. You can make up your mind that the next time around, the next year, you're going to make it a better year. Because as the Buddha said, everything comes from the mind. The mind is what creates our experience. Because some of the things we're going to experience in the next year are based on actions we've already done. But there's a lot that we can still shape for ourselves. That's what you want to focus on. What are the good things you can shape? Well, you start right here. You get learning how to train the mind so it stays in one place when you want it to, and then it thinks when you want it to, and then it comes back when you want it to. In other words, the thoughts don't take over. You're not the victim of your thoughts. All too often that's what happens. You begin thinking about something and you think you're in charge, and all of a sudden the thought turns around and bites you. And then the actions based on that thought will turn around and bite you even harder. So you've got to be very careful about what you think about, and then from there what you're going to do, act on. And this is how you shape the new year. Everyone comes for the end of the year, comes for a blessing for the new year. Well, may you shape a good year for yourself this year. As for anything bad coming from your karmic past, may you be able to handle it well. Now you're going to know how to handle it well. Will you try to make sure that you're virtuous, you're discerning. Train the mind so it's not overcome by pleasure or pain, and have an attitude of goodwill for everybody. It's so easy when you read the news nowadays to v villainize people. And there's some genuine villains out there. But you can't let that get in the way of your goodwill. Goodwill basically means may all beings understand the causes for true happiness and be willing and able to act on them. That's a wish you can have for anybody, no matter what their past. And it's a wish you can have for yourself. You look at your actions in the past year, any place where your generosity was lacking, or your virtue was lacking, or your discernment was lacking, your goodwill was lacking. Make up your mind, you're going to start with a clean slate and make it a better year. Because after all, the new year comes, we're going to be one year older. And you want to have just something to show for the fact that you've lived that extra year. Because this human birth is a very valuable birth. So you want to squeeze all the goodness you can out of it. Too many people think, well, I just want to squeeze all the pleasure I can. And when they reflect on the past year, it's usually about the good times they had and the bad times they had, in the sense of just whether it was pleasant or not. But if you think of life as an opportunity of squeezing goodness out, and you look back at the past year, go, where were the areas where you really did live up to your ideals? Okay. Take joy in that fact. In the areas where you didn't, we'll say, well, here's an opportunity to work. Make some improvement. So as the body wears down with the year, the mind doesn't wear down. The mind actually improves. So in the Buddhist image of people who come in darkness and people who come in light, it doesn't matter where you come from. It's where you go. You want to go in light. And this is how you do it, by training the mind.